you are highly favored. Oluwatun is a carrier of Unfailing Life International Ministries, bringing Confess My Victory. Confess My Victory is a daily devotional book based on different biblical teachings from the acronyms of the months of the year. For the month of February, we have favor, empowerment, breakthrough, restoration, unity of the spirit, answer prayer, revelation, and yes, today is February 15. We are looking at spiritual failure rest- and restoration. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Psalm 51 verse 12. Still, we need to ask, how can a believer who enjoyed the privileges Peter enjoyed, who walked as closely with Jesus as Peter did, who saw the miracles Peter saw, who heard the teaching Peter heard, who professed his commitment as strongly as Peter did, how can a believer like that fall into such terrible sin? The answer, please note, is gradually, not suddenly. The cause of spiritual failure is a slow leak, not a blowout. We all might have had the shocking experience of seeing someone we love, admired, and look up to spiritually fall into a great sin. At first glance, it looks like he or she was just cruising along at 75 miles per hour when, bam, he or she had a blowout. We think, wow, that's scary. I hope it never happens to me. But the fact is, there is no such thing as a spiritual blowout. There are only slow leaks. When you examine any spiritual failure, you always discover that there has been a slow spiritual decline. It was probably in secret. He or she kept up the outer appearances. He or she continued to look like the part of a godly man. But in his heart, he was not judging sin. He was not evaluating himself in light of scripture. Slowly, the hair was leaking out of his spiritual tires. But we didn't see it until they were flat. No man is walking slowly with Jesus on Monday and on Tuesday, gets seduced by a beautiful woman. Adultery or any other sin always starts in the mind. Mark 7, 20 to 23, a man begins to tolerate lustful thoughts. He secretly looks at a pornography. He discreetly checks how the sexy women he sees. On the surface, he may be a pastor or a church leader. He may be preaching or teaching God's word every week. But his Bible study and prayer life as superficial. He isn't judging his sin and walking in fellowship with Christ. He justifies it, thinking, I'm just a normal guy. I'm not hurting anyone. Besides, I'll never be unfaithful to my wife, but he likes but he likes it when women flirt with him. He enjoys hugging them as sister in Christ. Of course, Satan beats him, beats his time until the opportune moment. Then he drops the bait. The man falls and everyone is shocked. The precise cause of spiritual failure will vary from person to person and from incident to incident. But we may learn how to avoid the slow leak in our own life by being by tracing Peter's decline. The part B, the cause of spiritual failure. There are more than, let's look at six. We refuse to submit to our teaching of scripture. Just after Peter's uh, famous confession, Jesus began to teach the disciples that he must suffer many things be rejected by the Jewish leaders and be killed. But Peter couldn't accept that. He actually took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. Jesus in turn rebuked Peter by saying, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on God's interest, but man's. Mark 8, 31 to 32. Father, we thank you because you will give us the grace not to allow 
our spiritual stamina to diminish. Holy Spirit, we thank you because you will strengthen us. Confession, I decree today, poverty and problem, leave promotion, spiritual progress, prosperity, wealth and riches, come, come in, sickness and ungodliness, go, purity of heart and soundness of, of health, come and abide with me in the name of Jesus. Uh, spiritual declining, go, I receive spiritual energizing now in the name of Jesus. Today's reading is Psalm 15 and Luke 2. God bless you. Keep being strong in the Lord. See you tomorrow.